guys are doing good so i hope you enjoyed that little clip of me making this juice right here that i'm drinking i've been trying to drink it daily but sometimes i do forget and not drink it but right now i'm just gonna be enjoying my juice and i'm also gonna show you guys my self-care slash pamper routine i've been wanting to do an updated video of this kind for a while so i'm gonna show you guys how i do my hair how i exfoliate how i self tan um how i get glowing smooth skin you know my hygiene tips just a little bit of everything all in one video so if you guys enjoy this type of videos do not forget to give it a thumbs up right now i am going to be having one of those long showers so i can relax and get ready for next week um and i also usually every sunday i like to self tan so usually i self tan every single week so i do have to exfoliate like harshly so i can remove all the old self tanner if not it can look splotchy so i'm going to show you all the products that i use so yeah that being said sit back relax and let's get started all right guys so i'm gonna begin by showering and this is my little mini shower routine so i'm using this new coconut and rice milk body wash it's my second time using it and so far i really like it and it's like a really good kind of like vanilla-ish scent with a little bit of coconut um and then this product right here is amazing if you have acne like me i have back acne so this helps me out a lot and then of course we have to use the Olay body conditioner it makes your body look Looks super glowy and healthy and it's definitely worth the hype okay so i pretty much just apply it and then i do rinse it and it just feels like you have a lotion all over your body i want to show you guys my hair care routine so i'm always changing the shampoo i use i'm currently using the l'oreal um, straightening shampoo i like it it's not my favorite i would buy something else next time to be honest but i do really like the eight wonder liquid little mask and also this one from shia moisture it's really really good so the shampoo is the only thing i'm not in love with the other things do make my hair look really shiny all right so for exfoliating this is really important especially since we are self tanning i'm using one of my favorite ones which this one is the vanilla flavor or not flavor the scent so i'm just exfoliating my skin i'm also going to put you on to some amazon exfoliating mitts so this ones are really harsh i think they are like korean inspired i'm not too sure i will have them listed below but they truly do exfoliate and remove any self tan so i'm going to show you guys later in the video um a little clip of my skin like it removes dead skin it's really really cool you see that's me showing you the dead skin and then we have to shave i just recently found this like a month ago and i love it it's like conditioner but a little bit thicker and it kind of leaves like an oil behind so it's really moisturizing so i really really recommend it especially if you're looking for smooth skin this is like a must and i also really like this flamingo shaving cream it's also again really moisturizing and it just makes it hard for you to cut yourself it's really really good and by the way for my shaver i I use the men's racer i feel like men's racers are the best i'm sorry if some things are not focusing but you know i try my best to show you guys you know a little bit of something yeah i just shaved my arms and now i'm shaving my legs it's always super satisfying to shave your legs after a long time so i'm just doing that and that is my whole shower routine i really hope you guys enjoyed it I'm so new, I can barely breathe And all I want to do is to fall in deep But close ain't close enough i'm gonna show you guys how i self tan so right now i'm wearing a sports bra and this is the self tanner that i use i use this once a week and in the color dark i don't want anything too intense or nothing unnatural you know um i just want it to be like me a little bit tanner you know it just makes you feel just a lot better so this is the bondi sands um self tanning foam again in this shade um dark it is the best one it gives you such a beautiful like olive warm tone color super natural and i do use their little sponge 
what is this color mint this is what i use i get everything from walgreens and usually they have like a buy one get one 50 off super super affordable you want to make sure you change this really like often so just going to apply about that much and i'll show you guys so i like to pretty much dot it let's go pretty much in like motions like this in circular motions and you guys will see the difference it's nothing too crazy but it just makes you feel like you just got home from a vacation every single week so yeah i just like to go like this and then for my hands i go like this very lightly and then for my back i usually can go all the way to my back but sometimes i can and i just ask my sister and she does this for me my number one tip is just to moisturize so everything looks good and even and nothing looks splotchy because it can look really splotchy but at the same time since i'm not tanning like super different like i don't really care how it looks to be honest especially when it comes to my back i don't really care if it looks good or not um you know i don't need to be super detailed because i'm not going to a really unrealistic color to me when it comes to my face i like to just go upwards like this i don't like to apply it to my face because i do wear foundation so i'm like who cares you know so i just leave it like that i have never applied to my face and i'm also scared i may break out so i just leave it alone now pretty much before i go to sleep i do like to wait for it to get a little bit dry so i kind of like to stand in front of a mirror a mirror stand in front of a fan and just let my body like dry okay so let's go ahead and begin my skincare routine if i'm being honest my skincare uh my skin doesn't care uh, first of all but sometimes it's doing good sometimes it isn't doing like the best but i feel like all this products work really really good if you have oily textured skin so i'm gonna put you on to the products that i've been using and i love testing out new products so if you guys have some of your favorites let me know in the comments below by the way i did use the order in before i get started i use this one right here from dove it has zero percent aluminum it smells really good and i really like it and i noticed um my armpits aren't as dark as before and then another thing that i wanted to talk to you guys about really quickly if you guys watch my hygiene and videos you guys know about these products right here but this is something that i recommend if you're going to be shaving your bikini area so i like to use the bikini zone and it's really good for razor bumps and itching and all of that and then i also recommend this solution right here it is going to burn a little bit but think about it like alcohol it's just going to make sure everything's clean it's going to help a lot with ingrown hairs and also right here razor bumps so highly recommend this and then the last thing i'm going to recommend for today's video is this product right here this you can get on amazon it's one of my favorite products ever you guys have probably heard me talk about this before because i really like it but but I wouldn't recommend you add it right away you shave. I recommend you use it the next day only because it can burn once again. So you want to be careful with that. Um, but that helps a lot with hyperpigmentation. And that's something I struggle a lot with is hyperpigmentation on my face, on my body. So that's really, really good. So for face mask, I use the Ordinary Salicylic Acid 2% Mask. This is another one of my favorite products. I like to use it, especially right here. It helps a lot with clogged pores. Another thing that I like, another little tip, is to shave your face. I already shaved my face like three days ago, so I don't really have any hairs to show you guys. But I usually, probably like once every three weeks, I like to make sure my mustache is gone. And I also get rid of any peach fuzz. I shake my brows just to make sure everything looks, you know, clean. My brows don't grow, girl. This is like the most they're going to grow. They grow out a little bit, but, you know, nothing too crazy. So I just like to grab this, go like that, and that's all I have to do. For cleanser, this is the one that I use. It's the CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser at the drugstore, affordable, fragrance-free, and it's made for normal or, right, normal to oily skin. I grab about that much. I like to wet my face and I go in like this. I don't know why I apply lip gloss if I'm going to remove it, but I like to wet my skin. Let me turn up the water and I like to just rub my face for like 30 seconds. It feels really good. So now let's say I'm wearing makeup and I want to remove it. I will use the cleansing oil and this combine them to remove my makeup i got this from walmart and it's re really really good i also like the not your mother's cleansing balm that one's really really good as well to pat my skin dry 
so it doesn't cause any more you know damage that my skin already has um and then i like to move on to apply toner sometimes i apply toner sometimes i don't it depends on the day i'm not even gonna lie and also i did add curology to my skincare routine i am trying it out i have my own little formula which is really cool so usually i like to add these things to like where i break out the mold which is right here and then on my chin so let me put you on to some of my favorite products i like the retinol serum really good if you have oily again textured skin it just helps smooth everything out i also really like the cerave facial moisturizing lotion which is ultra lightweight this is what it looks like right here i do like to combine this at night and i feel like my skin looks really good and then other nights i don't use the serum and i use this instead which is the paula's choice exfoliating two percent bha liquid exfoliant so that's what it looks like and then you just add it and then you just pack it in and then i like to apply moisturizer and again i do like to mix it in with my curology which again i will let you guys know if i like it in a couple of weeks i just really want to test it out before i recommend it so today i'm just going to be using this in this um for today's video so i like to grab about that much which is a pump and i like to apply it here on my cheeks and then on my chin and then also on my forehead and then the next step is to add lotion so i like to add about that much moisturizer and again i apply it everywhere right and then the last thing i want to talk to you guys about it's another one of my favorite products let's say i am lazy i have a test i have homework um you know i'm just being lazy i like to use this right here so this is called the cerave healing ointment it protects and soothes dry cracked skin now this is amazing if you have eczema skin i feel like this is a must for the fall and winter time for me i like to just apply this all over my face and the next morning my skin just looks 10 times better so in my opinion you guys and for me personally the least amount of products i use on my skin the better my skin looks um so maybe i'm missing like step i don't know 10 step 8 um, you know because a lot of people are really strict with their skincare but this is what works for me and the least amount of products i use the better okay so you yeah, guys so that is all i do when it comes to my skincare like i said the least amount of products i use the better my skin looks and also for my hair i only apply an oil and that is all i do so i'm just gonna wait for everything to soak into the skin my hair is gonna air dry i do not like to use a blow dryer sometimes i do but most of the time i don't depends you know what look i'm going for so yeah i'm gonna wait for everything to dry up and then i'll see you guys in a little bit so let's begin with the nails so i did this hand off camera only because um i didn't realize i was recording but i'm going to show you guys how i do this one so you guys can see the difference very like glam and then just like basic you know um so i'm going to show you guys how i make them last a week there are some people that can wear them for one to two weeks to three weeks it depends all on what you use i personally use the little glue it comes with so i you know i used to spend money and i used to buy another glue but this one does the job now and then i also use the tools that it comes with so this is what it looks like i like to use this side to remove any glue and i also like to buff my nails with the blue side so i like to go like this and very lightly just remove any excess like you know and just re and very lightly just remove any old glue and i also notice when you do that you give your nail a little bit of texture so it has something to hold you know with and please forgive my nails you guys i do have very dry hands i have eczema hands so just you know ignore that especially when the season's gonna change my nails get like really crazy so for nails i like to use this ones right here um i'm pretty basic i like to paint my nails pink or white i do not like to change colors so i bought this one last year and i've been using it ever since it's the real short one it's my favorite one it looks beautiful and they last a long time on me and then this ones are new i feel like this one is a little bit thinner so it doesn't last as long but it's still really pretty these are in the style short so kiss nails are my favorite ones i got this one from walmart and then this ones that you can get from target so it's all up to you you know which ones you prefer so the next step is to pretty much uh, measure out your nails i already know my size again i've been doing this for a whole year so i already know my sizes so you guys i'm basically gonna show you what i do i like to use a little bit of glue i make sure every corner has a little bit of glue 
and then I apply a little bit of glue to my finger and then I just pretty much like to hold it in make sure your nails are perfectly fitted to you um, it's better to for it to be a little bit shorter than a lot you know bigger because if it's a lot bigger then air is gonna get there and it's just gonna remove it it is the next day i wanted to show you guys the final product this is what my nails look like my self tan is not like completely blended but that's okay you guys i wash my hands like four times a day or five times a day so it usually fades around my hands and everything looks good but yeah this is what everything looks like my hair my hair is getting pretty long it's all the way down here so it's definitely growing a lot and then this is what the self tan looks like it is extremely important after you self tan that you add lotion so your skin stays moisturized and it doesn't look blotchy so keeping up with the whole like vanilla theme i really like this product right here from josie moran it's the whipped argan oil in the scent vanilla bean one of my favorite ones also for stretch marks i have a lot of stretch marks so i love the palmer's cocoa butter skin therapy oil this is amazing especially at night i like to apply this everywhere and my skin just looks 10 times better the next day you know my stretch marks look glowy and healthy and just beautiful and then if you want something a little bit more affordable um, this is another product that i like from nivea it's called the cherry blossom body souffle but again if you want to keep up with the whole vanilla theme and you want to splurge a little bit highly recommend this product so yeah guys that is it that is all i have for my self-care routine i really hope you guys enjoy it if you guys want to see more videos like this let me know in the comments below or just give this video a thumbs up and also let me know your self-care must-haves let me know in the comments below and i'll see you guys on the next one bye guys <laughs>